This is, this was so bad. It was so bad. I'm sorry, internet. I'm sorry. Hello, Makeup Void. My name is Kayla, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Wasn't really feeling in the mood to film vi videos today, but you know what is a really good way to get myself in the mood to film? Embarrassing myself for the internet. Yes, today's video is going to be makeup applications that I absolutely freaking fucking lutely hate. These are techniques that I never do because I hate them. And I have never any incentive to, especially with hashtag mask life, because why? Why push myself out of my comfort zone? Like why? It doesn't make any sense right now. So we're going to do this today for the lols. Yes. I said lols because I'm that old. So I hope you find this video fun and maybe a little cringe worthy for me. So let's just, let's just get into this. Okay, so for the first technique that I absolutely hate is applying foundation with my hands. I hate this so much. I don't know if I've actually have ever done this because I hate the idea of like the mess of, found of foundation on my hands. Like I'm okay with applying a lot of products with my fingers, but this is all over with foundation. Just really, <sighs> I don't like it. So I'm gonna use both my Project Pan things because this fucker will not die. Um, and the Zoeva foundation. So these are kind of in at the same time. And I, I guess, what do I do? Pump this out on my fingers? I think people like doing this technique because um, you get more coverage, I think, with it or something. I can't honestly remember why, um, but let's, let's just do this. My big vanity mirror is behind me, so I'm kind of looking at that. Oh, I hate this. I hate this so much. I don't know how to do this application with my fingers. It feels weird, um, but honestly, my fingers just feel really gross, gross and dirty. Um, I know it's not a mess. My nose hates this so much, but I guess it looks okay. Let me, let me actually get a close-up mirror so I'm not using the vanity mirror behind me. So it actually doesn't look all that bad. I actually kind of like it which I really don't like that I feel that way. But yeah, this is pretty full coverage, actually. Um, yeah, this actually doesn't look bad at all, and that really pisses me off. That really, that really freaks, that, that really freaking pisses me off. Um, but just for reference, I don't have any primer. I kind of expected this video to be a hot mess, so I didn't, so I only did like my moisturizer and sunscreen. I didn't really use primer, um, but it's actually looking really good. All right, I'm gonna do concealer. Do I have to do concealer with my fingers? Um, yeah. I I guess if I'm doing foundation, I have to do concealer too. So I'm gonna use my Milani Conceal and Perfect concealer. I'm gonna show you where I do it. It just feels weird like I don't mind like doing some stuff to my makeup with my fingers like I'm not like totally against it but it's just this part like I have my Becca under eye correcting concealer um, I will use my fingers with that sometimes but I don't use like and I'll do like you know I, like I'll do primer and like moisturizer and like normal normal stuff like that to apply makeup but it's just this whole step uh, I, I don't know how to do this like how do you like especially around the forehead well for doing techniques I hate we have to also put concealer on my eyes as primer I used to not be so against this but just as I've watch Robert Welsh and his distaste for doing this and kind of going back and forth between using concealer as my eye primer and then just like actual eye primer I just have found like with, that I prefer eye primer more um but techniques I hate so have to do this so honestly this doesn't look that bad actually 
like right here in the center of my forehead I always have problems so it's kind of looking wonky there but overall like it's not I just picked up more product when I did that tap again it's kind of like with I'm kind of noticing that like once you tap once you blend it in if you try to tap any more yeah that that looks freaking bad oh you can even see on camera that looks really bad um we're gonna try to fix that with a little sponge so a little bit more concealer yeah we're, we're gonna try fixing that and then kind of taking um the sponge all the way around my face because i know some people will do that um well they'll start with their fingers and um kind of press everything in better with a sponge so i'm not totally breaking the rules what rules there's no rules in this video oh my gosh all right, we're not going to touch anymore. We're not going to touch anymore. All right, we're not touching this anymore. Yeah, you can totally see it. We're not touching this anymore. We're not touching this anymore. So my so another technique I hate is cream blush, mostly because I haven't I haven't jumped on the hype train for cream blush, and honestly, I haven't wanted to. So my only cream blush is this Milk Makeup uh, Lip and Cheek Duo Call in Work. How do people apply cream? Blush. Are you supposed to do it like this? I feel like it just picked up all the product. It did. Um, let's try my finger actually. Like, you think of all the videos I watch people applying cream blush, I wouldn't understand what the heck is going on, but I don't. This looks bad. Maybe it's because I over blended the foundation and concealer. But this doesn't look cute. And like obviously I still have to blend it out with my sponge. I'm gonna bring the blush kind of in the middle of the face like I always do. Bring it up really high. We're just, if we're gonna look like a clown today, we're gonna go all in. But I mean the color's cute. Like don't get me wrong. Like, the color is super cute. Okay, so I can't tell if the sponge is just revealing the foundation I removed underneath or if it's actually turning the blush a really pretty color. It's, it's definitely blended it out. Um, yeah, I really, I really don't know. Usually when I film these videos on Sunday mornings, I'm facing the window, so I'm trying something different. I don't know if it's working, but the blush looks cute. Okay, staying on the cream chain, we're going to use the Auric Glow Lust in Morganite, which I really love. <laughs> I really freaking love um, the Glow Lust, and I guess part of my excuse for um, buying this was actually for this video and another one. Wow, that was way too low. <laughs> we're just going in straight with... Yeah, we're just gonna cover the blush with that. I'm not going back into the powder blush. Like, I'm, I'm, there's no way in hell. I guess I should be using the other side of my sponge, but I'm not, so. I did squeeze out a full pump of this um, because usually I don't, and I don't feel like I get like the bam that I want. And I, I have tried this, the glows before, and I just feel like I lose it when I go over with powder products. So, and I, I'm definitely doing some powder products today, okay? Like, even though we're doing all these cream steps, like, we're still gonna do a little bit of powder. Um, so I just, I'm trying to make it so I don't lose the glow lust this time, but it, I'm, I'm losing the blush, it feels like. I look so greasy and oily. I don't like this. Granted, I did use a pump of the Zoeva foundation, which probably has something to do with it. Me being a flush, a flush fiend, I did, put on a little bit more blush so I feel like this is not working out but I feel like the sponge is working really well blending everything so I'm not upset about that so I'm gonna go ahead and set my entire face with a clear translucent setting powder usually I use like a tinted one but just because I'm so afraid of losing the color <laughs> that's on my face we're, we're gonna use translucent Okay, so I set my face with the translucent powder. Um, 
I feel like my foundation is not sticking to my face at all. The four, like, between my brows looks absolutely freaking awful. We still have a little bit of the glow of Auric, and I feel like the this, like, where I put the blush, I feel like it's just, like, the foundation removed. Told you I hate these techniques. I told you. So, brows. Something I have never, ever done before. I am scared to. But I looked online, apparently you're supposed to just use a spoolie and obviously a, a soap. I wash my makeup brushes and sponge with spoolie soap, so I, this is something hella cheap from, I don't even remember the brand, I know it has shea butter in it. I was looking online and I was saying like, oh you need, like not every soap will work. And I was like, I, we're just going to go with this. We're, we're just going to go with this. So you're supposed to take your spoolie and spray it with water. That's what this is. You're supposed to rub it. The soap in it. Maybe you're supposed to spray the soap with it. And just comb it. I feel like there is more water on my spoolie than there is soap. Maybe I should have done this before foundation. Does it look like a ridiculously hot mess? Yeah, but okay. Okay. This is, this is working. I'm supposed to go like straight up. Okay. Okay, I, I, I'm actually liking this. I'll link this, I'll, I'll link or say what soap I'm using down below. I'm not picky at all when it comes to what soap I use to clean my makeup brushes. Um, I just want something very soft and nourishing, nourishing to my brushes to you know keep them soft and clean. And I really have had an issue for most soaps I've used. Um, I know I definitely have had preferences. Um, the Method Bar Soap from Target, I actually really like that one. Um, so I kind of regret not repurchasing it. But I'm gonna now go and uh, fill in my brows with a brow pencil instead of my eyeshadow. Um, my ColourPop eyeshadow because I want because I think you're supposed to use like something like this to fill in the brows and I'm not gonna try messing this up because I actually really like how my brows look. Um, I'm not gonna try messing it up with eyeshadow because I just don't know yet and my face is already a disaster. Are you supposed to do the pencil first before the soap? Because I always thought that you did the soap first. So this is kind of hard. Like, I definitely feel the soap dragging. So there's the brows done. I actually really like this from my main vanity mirror, like behind you. Um, it doesn't, they, they look weird. They look, they're, they're definitely cousins and not sisters, not twins. They are cousins. But overall, I, I like it. I'm not, I'm really not mad at it. I might actually have to give the soap brows another try because this is this isn't bad okay I need real tangible powder on my face so we're gonna go into contour yes I don't ever contour I don't even have a contour shade but I think what's gonna work is this shade toasted in my Dominique cosmetics berries and cream palette I feel like that's a cool toned kind of contour shade. So let's give it a go. Let's let's see how this turns out because it can't really get any worse at this point. No, something's definitely being picked up. Yeah, it's picking up my foundation underneath. Or maybe.
maybe it's just a powder. Um, that is way more red. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> it's not picking up the foundation underneath, that's just the tone of the eyeshadow. Oh dear. And the headlights. Oh damn it. Uh, I actually was hoping this makeup would look good. I'm gonna. Uh, this is. Yeah, I thought it was removing the foundation underneath. Oh, it just looks bad. Oh my god. Do a little contour underneath the chin. I always do like fake contouring with my bronzer, and I know you're not supposed to do that. But I was kind of secretly hoping that this. Look at that. I don't know if it's picking up the foundation or if it's actually the contour. I don't know because I thought this looked like a better potential for a contour shade and it's not. And I really don't have anything else that would count as a contour. I look gray. I look muddy. My nose looks like I just stepped in dirt. So we're going to try to save this somehow with my ColourPop bronzer and spectacle because this is one of my favorite bronzers and so hopefully this can save this mess it's just bronzering everything i'm pretty much just gonna put the bronzer where i put the contour and hopefully like they just blend together into a little bit more warmth we're hot hell or high water hell or high oh my gosh it's so bad right there on my forehead oh that's so bad that's way better worse on camera than it does it look in person. Okay, so the lining is slowly changing because like the sun is getting higher up in the sky because like that's how like time works and like they're traveling around the sun. Like that's just how that's how science works. Um I guess we're gonna do blush. Uh, so because the bronzer is so ridiculously heavy and bad. I, I'm gonna go with the e.l.f. putty blush in Always Cheeky. I do normally like a heavier blush, but I feel like it's just, if, like, I usually don't mind going, like, go big or go home everywhere on my face, but I feel like just today, I'm just gonna go a little bit lighter, a little bit softer. Told you, I told, I told you guys that this was gonna be a hot mess. I told you, I, t I freaking told you. Another technique that I hate, I really don't hate this technique. I've kind of been trying it lately, and that is faux freckles. I'm using my brow pencil. I think I need to get a brow pen for this because um, I just don't think it's working with the brow pencil. But I have been doing it off and on lately and I really like it. I just kind of take my brow pencil and I turn it in, I press it into my skin and I twist it. Um, if you were using like a brow pen, you wouldn't have to do this. Oh my gosh. Instead of leaving a comment down below, leave a clown emoji down below, okay? Clown emojis like on a scale of just a little clownish to like you're absolute batshit crazy clown like so one to five one is like one is like oh you're kind of clownish number five is like batshit crazy clown need to go into the arkham asylum so that's how that's how rate this video from one to five clowns okay um highlighter another tech this really isn't going to be a technique that i hate but this is going to be something i just don't like to do with a subtle highlighter so we're going to use the essence pure nude highlighter and uh, try that for highlight. Okay, that's actually really pretty. I'm just putting every single powder product on my nose. Just hoping something will do the trick. Just We're, we're just hoping for the best. And expecting the worst. When people, when this first became like super crazy popular, people were saying that like, oh, it's a subtle highlight. And I feel like it changed, they changed the formula because I feel like it's not a subtle highlight anymore. Like, how, how is that subtle? How, how? 
How is that a subtle highlighter? I think I'm done with the face. Um, I'm gonna take this clean Eco Tools brush and see if I can just clean this out real quick. Yeah, it, like it's cleaning up. It's just like diffusing just enough to where it doesn't look as awful. Okay. Now for the part that I'm genuinely excited, hoping for about, because again with Auric, they also came out with these um, eyeshadow duos that are like $39 or something. It's crazy, but it's like a cream shadow and a powder shadow and just for like a one and done look, which I love the idea, but it's just not practical for me. I, I usually go really crazy with my eyeshadow looks. So I, I want to try duping the vibes, okay? Like this isn't going to dupe the vibe, like it's it's going to dupe the idea. So this is going to be duping the vibes. It's, is it going to give you the same intensity of Samantha Ravindal and Orgit Auric? No, but if you if you're in the mood, if you kind of want to do that kind of vibe, uh, that's what this is for. So I'm going to start off with a cream shadow. This is the ColourPop Super Shock eyeshadow in the shade um, Cosmic Charge. <laughs> Let's have this not fall out of the pan again. So this is going to be our cream shadow and it has a little bit of shimmer. I don't remember if her shadows have actual um, like I don't know if the cream shadows have actual like shimmer in it. Like this is definitely glittery. Um, but I don't know about her shadows, about her cream ones. If I don't know, I don't think they're matte shadows. Um, I don't think they're matte creams, but um, just not quite sure. Uh, just gonna pack this all over the lid, kind of how you would use her shadows. And I chose Cosmic Charge because it is the most neutral um, super shock that I have and it's not like super whoop bam intense it does have it is a little bit more grounded in that taupe um, base so yeah I kind of just like that as it is I haven't used um, my super shock shadows like with a primer underneath it's always just been on bare eyes so I haven't really seen them um, like this I like that Oh, that's cute. Okay, something's working for this video. Final fucking Lee, something's working in this video. So to create the kind of the powder topper effect, I'm gonna take my Essence Metal Chrome eyeshadow in the shade Ironic. These single, these shadows are five dollars, and the wabam of them is crazy. So. And I really wanted to do this, like make it affordable in case like you don't have the money or don't want to spend $39 on her shadows, which if you do, great, more power to you. But like if you're someone like me that doesn't like to do those, um, these like one shadow looks every day, but you still like kind of want to get the vibe, like this is a great shadow to do that. And this layering on top of Cosmic Charge is everything and these essence singles are so incredibly underrated like intensely um and i think because like i feel like essence eyeshadow palettes don't get like the greatest reviews but their single shadows like these and then i had their baked singles before they discontinued them and ripped my heart out that was amazing too i just wish they would come out with more colors um, in these because it's just so good and they do have a rose gold one they do have a straight gold one like I I chose ironic because it's more of a taupey a, uh, a more taupe shimmering shadow and wow I was hoping this was gonna turn out well but I really didn't expect to turn it out to turn out this well so not only did I want to like dupe the vibes of work, but also a technique that I don't use is single eyeshadow looks like this. Technically I use two, um, but this isn't an eyeshadow look that I hardly ever do. I usually use like a lot more color, a lot more shadows in one look, but this is really pretty and special. I, 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 okay, now I'm back, now I'm excited, now I'm back into this look again. You know what that means? I have to not use weed eyeliner. So I'm going to take my Essence and Lash It Loud, my Essence. <laughs> I'm using a little bit of Essence. Um, a lot of 
affordable makeup in this video. Didn't really intend to do that. It's just, it kind of ended up, ended up what, I didn't really intend to make this mostly affordable makeup, but when I was kind of creating the chaotic mess, I was like, okay, what can, what do I think can save this? And it's been my affordable makeup. So I'm going to take the e.l.f. Lash It Loud Volumizing Mascara. It's not my favorite, but I have it, and so we're going to use it. And part of techniques that I uh, hate is not doing winged eyeliner, so it fits. It fits with the video. So a big reason actually why I do winged eyeliner so much is because I almost always like get the um, mascara on the lid and it's just kind of like easier for me instead of trying to fix it. It's just do eyeliner on my lid so if I do it then you can't even tell. But this eye look is really really cute. I I like this. I like that a lot. I like I love like the eyeshadow is definitely my favorite part so far. But we still have one more step to do, and that is lips. Techniques I never use. Lip liner and lip gloss. These are products that I never use, and I definitely never use them in tandem with each other. So first I have the Essence Stay 8 Hour uh, waterproof, lip, waterproof Lip Liner in the shade because duh. I love that because duh. Um, these lip liners, I, I got this A for this project, breaking my low buy, I'm a hypocrite, I'm not going, I'm not doing good on this, no low buy at all, but, um, Kelly Gooch recommends this lip liner and I wanted it for this video, um, and for another video idea called YouTubers Made Me Buy It, and so I bought this off her recommendation because I figured that as someone who doesn't have any other lip liners, if I'm gonna get one, I want something that's really affordable, so if I hate it, it's not a huge loss. So, okay, so I just use it to fill in the entirety of my lips. I really love this color because it's very close, to, it's very close to my skin tone, but it's a little bit darker, it's a little bit more brown, and if you know me, I love my brown lips. So this is really cute and it's really comfortable. I actually used this the other day to test out the lip liner, and so I did this. I did this and I think I did my Milk Makeup Project Pan Kush Lip Balm on top and that combo was really good. Yes, it got on my mask, obviously, but like yes, it got on my mask, obviously, but it really held up throughout the day. Like by the end of the day, like most of it was gone, but you could still see a little bit as a color. Like it was super long lasting, so I'm still very impressed, but now we have to do the lip gloss. Uh, the Milani Keep It Full Nourishing Lip Plumper in the shade, I think it's champagne. So, um, yeah, let's see how this goes. <laughs> okay, so that is actually really cute. Okay, so that's the finished look. Um, let's go in order of things. The It Cosmetics and Zoeva applying with my hands. I didn't hate it. I hate how it feels on my hands. I hate how it feels. I hate how messy it made my hands. But the overall effect I actually didn't hate. Probably won't ever do this technique again just because I hate the feeling of it. And it did give me a lot of coverage. Like can't deny that. Granted the It Cosmetics found, uh, CC Cream is super full coverage. But overall it did really, it, it, it came across really well on my face. I mean the Zoeva foundation is pretty um, full as well. But the two just made a really good combo. Um, concealer with my fingers, hell no, I'm not doing that again. I'm not doing concealer with my fingers ever again. I hated that. The blush, the green blush, I didn't hate. Okay, so I hated the way I applied it. But I think that was user error because I liked the color. I liked how it did end up blending out. I just need to play with this more on the weekends when I don't have to be wearing a mask all day because I did enjoy it. Um, I just think either, straight up applying this right onto my face with and not starting with my fingers was an awful decision. And so I think next time I'm just gonna have to like rub my sponge on it and do it that way. But I, I do, I, I did like the effect of the cream blush. I think that was actually really pretty. The Auric Lola's I think just got 
it got lost in the look and that's kind of has been my problem with it so far even though I like how it looks um I like how it blends into my skin it just it, it gets lost and so like um I'm, I'm gonna have to play with it in different ways still because I like the product I like the formula I just I need to find a good application that works for me contour was a complete shit show this is where everything went wrong um, my forehead is still an awful disaster. We're not going to talk about it. Um, I don't know how well I even did on the cheeks. Um, the nose just got into a disaster. It kind of looks okay on the chin. But yeah, um, maybe I'll give contour another chance, but I won't be using, um, the, I won't be using toasted in this palette. Um, no, 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 that was a bad decision. So brows actually turned out really good. I I actually like the result of the so, so brows. I was very hesitant, but I can actually see myself doing this again, maybe even like um, tomorrow or something. Because I, overall, I like I, I I really like it. I'm I'm like pretty surprised actually, because um, the shape is really well and just the hold. I am totally going to take off this makeup in probably an hour, so tomorrow I might actually try doing a full day wear test with soap brows, um, just to kind of see how I feel about it more, but I don't hate it. The definite star of the show for me though is the eye combo with the Super Shock and the um, Melted Chrome Shadow. I think you really get the vibe of Auric with these two. I think just a cream shadow in general and a very wabam shadow will give you the desired effect. I went for these because it's kind of similar in tones of what uh, Samantha Ravindal did with her brand, but I can definitely see myself using like a, my more green um, ColourPop shadows with this instead. Very cute. Um, eyes with just mascara isn't my favorite thing, but it's cute. Um, so the last technique, obviously, was using a lip liner and a lip gloss. Both of these things I don't really do on their own. Lip liner, I love. I feel like it's super comfortable. I have enjoyed the times I used it. I love the color. Um, this might actually get me into lip liners. Is that scandalous? Is that scandalous for me? Maybe. The Milani uh, lip lip gloss. It is comfortable. Um, as someone who is not a fan of lip gloss, it is very comfortable. It looks really nice on my lips. I think I went, I chose, I went save with champagne because it is kind of the nudie um, oil because it is kind of the light nude color that I go to through anyways, like my Milk Kush Balm and my... Um, ColourPop lip oil like like <laughs> these are almost identical in shade so I, I'm just kind of like a brown a brown nude kind of lip person and the lip plumbing effect is feeling pretty intense um really at the top of my lips not so much in the middle but it, it, it's like a minty plumping effect and when you first put it on you don't really notice it but the longer that it's on your lips the more it gets a little like bam like pretty present and I don't hate it I'm not against plumping lip products so I'm actually impressed with the lips so um eyes brows and lips are the highlights the face um not so much so I'm gonna take some selfies. Oh, the faux freckles pretty much got lost. I don't even know why I bothered doing those anyways. But that's it for today's video, guys. <laughs> Let me know if you, what you think of this video down below. Um, Again, let's go with the clown rating. One clown is, you look like a clown, but it's not that bad. Two, five clowns, which is, damn girl, you belong in Arkham Asylum. So, uh, give me your clown ratings down below. I would, uh, please give, um, yeah, give this video a thumbs up, thumbs down, um, subscribe if you thought this was really embarrassing and you cringed for me because that's definitely how I feel. Also, if you don't mind following me on Instagram, um, I post makeup looks there. I need to do a lot of flat lays today since I actually have good lighting and good time to do that so that'll actually be a good project for a little bit anyway guys thank you so much for watching and i will catch you on the next video i do upload mondays thursdays and saturdays 6 a.m mountain standard time <sighs>
And as always, have joy.